allt hér í höllinni annað kvöld en þeir eru víst fjandanum fótafimari en þeir besta dansveit heims. Snorri Már fór til London og rækti gattinnar út tveimur þeirra. Já, ef að ég er staddur hérna rétt fyrir utan London og inn á þessu snotra sveitáttili býða þeir okkar Keith Flint og Líraði Þornhill úr Prodigy en þeir koma ásamt félagum sínum tveimur til Íslands á morgun og leika á tónleikum en það er í fjórða skipti sem hljónsveitin kemur til Íslands ég veit ekki til þess að jafn stór hljónsveit hafi komið jafn oft til landsins þeir bera því klisjuna Íslandsvinnir með Sóma og Sann I read somewhere that the prodigy didn't rehearse. Never. Right. Never, Never, ever, ever. Why is that? Well, because it's real, it's spontaneous. It's like, if, you know, why, why be like everyone else? Not that it's, you think about this, but why be a one, two, two to the left, three, four, you know, and all of a sudden you put on a, a stage that's as big as this set E and you, you're ruined. What are you going to do? You know, we, we, we work every week. You know, we do two, three gigs every week. So that in itself is a constant rehearsal. If I was in my own home, you know, when you were here, whatever turns you on, you grab your hairbrush and you sort of like sing along and give it some of that in the mirror. Well, I'm doing that, but I'm doing that on stage in front of 10,000 people every week. You know, when I was younger and I was listening to the jam, that, you know, that all their early stuff was really quite punk. You know, when I was jumping around, smashing my head on the wall, that's what I used to do. You know, my parents ran upstairs and said, for fuck's sake, you are going to come through that ceiling and you're going to land down here. But I had to climb on things and jump off them. You know, I did want to smash my head on the wall, you know. That is what music does, you know. So having fun, is that what Prodigy is all about? Absolutely. Yeah, it's just buzz. Absolutely. It's not about looking good. It's not about pulling girls. It's not about money. It's not about um, any self-indulgence at all other than having a lot of fun and being able to look back and feel that what you did was what you wanted to do. We don't plan nothing. You never know what's going to happen, you know what I mean? And you're not going to turn around and start thinking about writing another album two weeks after you've, like, finished one, you know? There'll be, uh, there'll be more albums or more stuff in the Prodigy, but, you know, you, you, can't, you can't say when or where or if. It made me laugh that people thought I was scary, because I know that I'm not, you know? Um, uh, you know, it keeps... You know, there's forever there's been, I'm not saying Keith is, but forever there's been eccentrics. <laughs> Scary to me is watching Bos people starving in Bosnia at five yeah, o'clock exactly. on the news. You, you know what I mean? Watch the news at five o'clock and, and watch war, famine and death. death. <laughs> and stuff like that. And scary. nobody, 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 any, and we're not a political band, not at all. You know, you ask me a question and this, this is my honest answer. But I don't try and look like a demon. I, I think that maybe... Yeah, but you, you, know, look, you, you know, it's what you, it's what the person watching it sees into it. Someone else might think he looks like a clown. First time the band played in Iceland, the leader of one religious group said that you were devil's advocate. Yeah. 
What is your opinion of such a religion? Religion is responsible for more deaths and everything in, else in the world, so I don't want to hear about religion. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? I mean? At the end of the day, no one, no one knows about us. No one knows if I go to church on a Sunday. They just look at me and assume that I don't. The Bible is only a, a, a very ancient handbook on treating people right. This concert on Saturday night will be, be your fourth in, in, in Iceland and, and such a big band as Prodigy has never played so often after that. Why this loyalty to your Icelandic fans? It's not just Icelandic, it's anyone. If we mm. go somewhere and have a good time, we'll go back. You know, it's, um, it doesn't even, it, it's what we do, it's our life. I like Iceland. Yeah, we always have a you brilliant know, I, I time. Love, I love the landscape and, you know... The aliens. I don't like the it. water. The water smells horrible. It smells like you farted. Yeah, all the sulphur in the water. <laughs> you had a disgusting. bath and you sort of think, I'm sure I just had a bath. <laughs> you feel like you smell worse <laughs> when yeah. you went in. Any message to your many Icelandic fans? I mean, you can't really, you know, people, do, when you do interviews like this, they say, hey, is there a message for the fans back home? What do you say? I mean, if you say, look forward to seeing you and stuff like that, it sounds very cheesy. I mean, uh, we do look forward to coming this time as we do to any country that we go to. You know, in fact, I'd, I'd much, much prefer to go to Iceland and, than, a, than the States or a lot of places that we go to, you know, We go through hell to come to Iceland. We think, bloody hell, you know, we've only come here to entertain people. We're not, you know, and they really do hate us. You know, I think that there is... They think like, we bring drugs. It's such a small place, they think that we're bringing drugs, and I I'll say, look, you know, I'm doing something that I enjoy, and I would never fuck it up for drugs. And look, they can't understand that. They can't understand that I travel to every country in the world as many times as I want to go to them. and. I express myself every week how I want to express myself and I'm a very, very lucky person. I don't, and I wouldn't fuck it up for, for you know, I wouldn't, you know, bringing drugs into a, com into a country is a, is, is a job for a silly man, not for a, a very lucky man. Já, þessi stemning margfalt mögnuð verður líklega alls ráðandi annað kvöld þegar fyrirbæri stífur á sviði höllinni. En já, okkur er það skilnaðarstundin sem er alls ráðandi. Við óskum okkur góðar helga fyrir þessi hæl. Sjáumst á mánudaginn.